Hey, Dan Pastorelli here. Happy Monday. Hope your week is going great so far. I think it's going to be a good one. So uh, the market started out on a good foot, up 0.4% today for the S&P 500 as measured by SPY. But what is an interesting thing to look at here today is Amazon stock. And let's take a look. Amazon stock is we've had about a six day route here, five day route here, one, two, three, four, five. So on Friday, we closed at uh, basically at a pivot point here at a support level that's lasted for the past six months. And today we traded down below it. We actually came down and gave a little smooch to the 21 day moving average, which is a very key moving average, but didn't quite move through it and still ended up down on the day and down from the open with rising implied volatility, potentially setting up some interesting trades, which we'll talk about in a second. Now, from a fundamental standpoint, what's at play here? Well, there was actually some really great news articles about Amazon today. Uh, they were upgraded by a bank and two other banks had some really positive things to say about their price from a valuation standpoint. It was all rosy in that regard. There was some negative news though. There was some speculation that the longshoreman strike might potentially hurt uh, Amazon, but it also mentioned companies like Apple and others and Apple was up 2.2% today. The other thing that came into play is Amazon is directing employees back to work and their employees don't like that. And 73% of employees said they might consider quitting. And so maybe, just maybe, the market is having a bigger reaction to that than one might think. Now, okay, there's technicals, there's fundamentals, but what's trading? Well, a couple of key things traded today in Amazon. Uh, near the open, about an hour, uh, about an hour after the open, 1500 Amazon October 4th, 87 and a half, 195 call credit spreads traded at a dollar fifty. Now that was down when Amazon was at 185.71 this morning. We're still below that 187 and a half call strike where this stock will need to stay below in order for this trade to profit. But again, this person, this trader might take the trade off before expiration. Doesn't necessarily have to go through the bell on Friday below um, 187 and a half. Now, later in the day, someone sold a put credit spread. Longer term expiration, but giving a lot more wiggle room here. They sold the 182 and a half puts, bought the 177 and a half puts. So that gives about four bucks that it can head down to the downside, which is not a lot of wiggle room to hold on to for another three weeks. But it's a sign that maybe not every trader in the world is bearish on Amazon at this time. Well, I hope that helps. This is Dan Passarelli. Have a great rest of your day and a great rest of your week and trade smart.